Hi, this is Lance from Langchain. This is the eighth video in our Langsmith Evaluation Series. I'm going to be talking about running evaluations directly from Prompt Playground. So we talked a lot about running evals through the SDK, but sometimes we want to do really rapid testing uh, directly from the Prompt Playground without any involvement of the SDK or any code. And here's a good use case that I've actually been working on quite a bit recently for this. So I've been doing a lot of advanced RAG. These uh, kind of advanced RAG methods typically involve some kind of grading step where I'm looking at retrieved documents, I'm grading them whether or not they're relevant to the question. If they're not relevant, I throw them away, right? And typically I return some structured object like a JSON that has a score, yes, no. So it's kind of a, a reasoning like grading to structured output challenge or problem that I typically use like a some kind of LLM for and usually I want to use lightweight fast LLMs to do this really quickly, right? Um, but common problem is like, what LLM can I use? Can I kind of, uh, because I need to constrain the output to be structured. Um, so let's show how we can do this kind of testing really quickly using the prompt playground. First, I'll build a data set of examples. So again, these are question document pairs, just like, you know, we can just make these up quickly. So here's an example question. Um, and here's like an example representative retrieved document. Now here's the output scores, which are going to be, you know, a basically yes, no, depending on whether or not the document is actually relevant to the question. So I spiked in one case of an irrelevant retrieval relative to hallucinations, right? They're, they're not related at all. So I can submit up a quick data set here. I'll call it relevance grade. Cool. So that's done. Now, if I go over to Langsmith, um, move this over, I can go to my data sets. I can search for relevance grade. Cool. And now this exists. So I have my data set, has my examples all here. So right, this is a data set I can just run this quick test on really quickly. Um, now I go over the prompt playground, which you can see down here in the hub. And I actually have a prompt that I use for this grading task already. And I configure my prompt really simply just to take in question and doc text, just like I set in my data set, right? So each input has doc text and question. So what I can do here is, I'll move this over, I can select my data set, retrieval, um, relevance, relevance grade, cool. And there it is, you see it loaded up, right? And what you can see over here is, I have, I can set different LLMs. So I can set OpenAI, um, and let's just run a test here. So this is cool, I can actually look at the outputs here and. I'm asking, I'm asking it to produce JSON and binary score of yes, no, based on relevance, and I can see it runs. So that's pretty cool. Um, now I can also try other models. I can, for example, use Fireworks. I can look at various uh, open source models there. So I can look at Llama 2 13b. I can run that. Okay, you can see that the outputs are quite different here. It looks like it's not adhering to strict JSON, which is an interesting insight. Um, and for example, let's say I want to test Anthropic as well. Let's say I want to look at like Haiku. I can run that here too. So this is pretty nice. I can run all this from the prompt hub interactively. I can kick off these experiments. I can set different model providers. Um, and this is really kind of nice rapid testing. Now what's interesting is because I selected my data set here, if I go to my data set, all those experiments are actually logged. So I can actually inspect those results here and I can like kind of very quickly sanity check uh, for example, the model is logged, the provider is logged, so that's all really convenient. So, like, you know, relevant experiment metadata is all present for me. And I can look at these results. I can actually see that, oh, you know, this was with Llama 13b. I can see that the, the answer is verbose. It's not valid JSON, and that's a problem. So, anyway, I can do really quick, kind of rapid prototyping of different LLMs for my particular task just directly in the hub here, as you can see here just by setting different LLMs, choosing my little test data set, which we created in like, you know, one minute. Um, and this is often how I do just kind of sanity checking of like, what LLM can I use for this particular task without having to, for example, like, you know, with the SDK, go through all the trouble of like importing, you know, chat fireworks and configuring that particular model. You can just do it all here very quickly, no code. And again, all those experiments are logged to your data set. And you can expect the you can inspect those results manually. So it's very convenient. It's a nice trick, um, and it's something you should certainly experiment with for certain tasks uh, that don't require kind of like a heavyweight uh, evaluation. It's something that you can do 
and orchestrate really quickly from the prompt playground itself. Thanks.